And here's our last example of how to find the image from an object when the rays of light go across a refracting surface. Notice here that the object is in air and the observer is looking at the image from the other side of the boundary and on this side of the boundary the index of refraction is 1.5, probably glass. The radius of curvature is 10 centimeters, but notice that it is bent towards the observer and when it's bent towards the observer we must have the radius of curvature, curvature as a negative number. Using the equation we have n1 over s uh, plus n2 over s prime is equal to n2 minus n1 over r being the radius of curvature. And then uh, let's now plug in the numbers. n1 is the index of refraction on the object side. Object distance 20 centimeters plus n2 which is 1.5. s prime which is what we're looking for that's the distance to the image and that is equal to n2 which is 1.5 minus 1 over r which we said was going to be a minus 10. All right, simplifying this a little bit, we have uh, and bringing the 1 over 20 over to the other side, we can say this is 1.5 over s prime which is equal to 0 0.5 over minus 10 and when we bring the 120 it over the other side becomes minus 1 over 20. All right, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom here by 2 to get rid of the decimal place. We have 1.5 over s prime is equal to 1 over minus 20 minus 1 over 20. And again, it doesn't matter where you put the negative sign. So this minus 20 minus 120, 1 over 20, that can be simplified. So we have 1.5 over s prime which is equal to minus 120, minus 120, that's minus 1 over 10. And then we flip the equation around so we have s prime over 1.5 is equal to minus 10 then multiply the 1.5 times that we get s prime is equal to minus 15 that's of course centimeters all right what does the minus mean minus mean that it's a virtual image and therefore on the same side as the object so the image will be right about here at about 15 centimeters from the um, surface from the refracting surface and now we want to know how big the image is. Well, we use the magnification equation right here. So the magnification of the image is equal to minus N1S prime over N2S. N1 was 1, so we have minus 1 times S prime, which we just found was a minus 15 centimeters, divided by N2, which is 1.5, times S, and the object was placed at a distance of 20 centimeters. So this becomes equal to positive 15 over 30, which is one half. That means the magnification of the image is half the size of the, um, of the object. And since it's a positive magnification, that means the image is upright or in the same direction as the object. And so we can place it right here. There's the image, upright, half the size of the object, 15 centimeters away from the surface. So S prime equals minus 15 centimeters minus of course means that's in front of the surface not behind the surface and it's a virtual image and that's how you do that problem